Well, the legacy of the mafia lives on through the families left behind, but living with that legacy comes with some challenges. Hey, and there's a new show that follows these families called Families of the Mafia. We're joined by Karen Gravano and Karina Seabrook. They are the daughter and granddaughter of Sammy the Bull Gravano. Ladies, thanks for joining us. We appreciate you. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. Uh, I got to ask you right off the bat, the dynamic in the family, Sammy gets out of jail, the dynamic in the family, is it different? Do you guys all get along or is it just kind of we'll smile and pretend or is it everybody happy? No, we definitely all get along. Um, you know, my father is definitely a very strong personality and he is a father, first and foremost, a grandfather. So he's opinionated about, you know, things that we do in our lives. And it's, it's you know, it's just like a re regular family dynamic. It's like he's the boss because he's the older man. <laughs> he's been through it, but um, life is just regular for us. We're just, you know, we're happy to have him back. Yes, you know, home with the family and I bet together. Karen, again. I'm really interested what your childhood must have been like, Karen. I mean, did you know who your family was from a very early age, or was it something that you kind of learned as you got older? You know, I think that I. As I got older, I pretty much learned because I grew up around people who had families just like mine. I never felt different. You know, my friends' families or my cousins, they all had fathers or uncles or grandfathers in similar background. And um, it was just regular to me. It was normal. Yes, we grew up very family oriented. There were a lot of people around. We had, you know, nice family vacations and parties and stuff like that. I don't want to say I grew up like super privileged, but I definitely grew up in a very um family oriented environment so i was gonna ask you guys because i've checked out the podcast uh that that you guys do that your dad does and is it almost too revealing i feel like there's just not a lot of punches pulled there at all you know it's sammy there is no punches pulled that's just who he is as a person and um when he was in the mob he was that way when he decided to leave the mob he's that way and he'll continue to be that person He's not going to sugarcoat anything, but he's definitely, that's one thing I think that is the, the, the benefit of being who he is, is that he's just going to tell it how it is. And that's what, you know, I do respect about him from a world that most people couldn't fathom being in, but he's not going to get up there and lie and be something that he, he wasn't or that he's not now. Interesting. All right. And Karina, so you obviously didn't have your grandfather around probably a lot when you were younger because he was away in prison but now are you kind of rebuilding your relationship with him and and how are you trying to maybe live differently than other members of your family yes i actually as the earliest memory i have of him was him being away so now that he's home i'm building my own relationship with him and, and i'm able to get business advice from him and and have him home with us so i'm i'm happy about that because i am big in finance and if there's one thing my grandfather was it, it was a smart businessman and nobody could take that away from him um i am on my own path and trying to break you know the take the mistakes that i grew up knowing that my family has been through and, and go on a different path and have people see more of the positives and my mom raised me to be a certain way so i'm just here trying to you know make them proud good job mom good job <laughs> <laughs> absolutely i got to imagine that there's just a lot of people pulling at you guys from different directions both good and bad since he's you guys are out and he, he's out and you and it's all kind of out in the open right um you know we our family is our family and we all stay together as one and that's most important people are always going to have things to say bad and good but at the end of the day this is real life for us and for us to be able to share our story is what's important because i feel like not only our family but the other families on the show have very relatable stories and people go through it people make mistakes but right especially we, we come from a world that people are very judgmental and you know they judge from the outside looking in and yes, again, like I said, there, there are probably things that they can judge us from, but the reality is within our home, we're just a family. And, you know, we, we try to just do better than we've had in the past. And yeah, we're not Ladies, perfect. We're gonna thank fall you so down, much. but as we long are as we get up. Time, we can't wait to watch the show on MTV. Thank you so much for joining us.